Yeah, um, the swim bladder is always found on the dorsal wall of the body cavity. It's always going to be above the stomach, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it's also going to appear as white and pearly, mm -hmm. and that's because the swim bladder, which has to be impermeable to air, right? It's got to be able to hold air like a balloon does. Um, to make it impermeable, the fish impregnates the wall of the swim bladder with guanine crystals. And that gives it its sort of pearly appearance. So always look for pearly appearance. Maybe that helps you to get oriented in the body cavity when you're looking at the swim bladder. Now, take a look at the swim bladder. That right there. Yeah, that's a, that's a severely ruptured swim bladder. It's ruptured right there. And then there's another major tear there. Basically what happened is as this fish was brought up to a depth of maybe 100 feet deep, mm -hmm. that swim bladder expanded in volume because of the release of pressure. And it got so big that initially, um, it, you know, as it expanded, it pressed the, all these internal organs against the wall of the body. And then uh, it got so big that it just exploded at first. So we see the, we see the gashes there. Kill a fish? Um, it can. Explodes. It can. Usually the um, problem is that the intestines will be uh, forced out in the opening and the stomach will be forced out in the mouth. There's nowhere else for those organs to go. And that's the, the direct the injury that yeah. can lead to death. The swim bladder can heal itself actually. Um, so, we found the swim bladder. Um, the next thing we want to look at is, I like to find the liver and get oriented. That's always going to be anterior in the body cavity, and that's liver there. It's going to be, um, it's going to appear kind of greasy. I, I always think of it as a greasy organ. Smooth, cream-colored, or sometimes um, light brown in color and the liver is going to have a couple of lobes to it like your sharks did. Notice how much smaller the liver of the bony fish is compared to the shark. Um, so we've got one lobe of the liver here, the other lobe is actually right there. See it? So that's, that's our liver. Next thing I like to do is find the stomach, and one trick that helps you is, particularly if your fish has a large mouth, is take your finger or you may have to take an object, insert it down the throat, and note where it goes, right? That's a great way to find a stomach, isn't it? And then so I know that, there's my probe, I know that this is stomach here. Um, Sometimes you have to cut some mesenteric tissue to free up organs you're wanting to visualize. But that stomach and then, now this one's not in great shape, is it? Mm -hmm. okay. That stomach right there, and then it connects here to the start of the intestine. At that point, guys, you will oftentimes see these finger-like projections coming off of the pyloric region of the stomach. Those are the pyloric psyche. And um, the number that a species has can vary greatly. Those are pyloric psyche. And then the intestine on this guy has been, has been severed a little bit. There's some prey items that are kind of spilling out. That's one there. Not sure what that is, but but yeah, we've we've got a little tear in the intestine right there. A lot of food contents kind of spilling out. So yeah, this guy um, it's not in. Not in the best of shape. Yeah, the heart will be farther up, Kara. Um, this structure right there, that's the spleen. 
This guy's a little smelly, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, you made a nice cut through the isthmus. So we can see the heart. Excellent. Um, that's all heart there. That's the that's the ventricle. A little bit lighter colored, muscular, and then this darker red is the atrium. Yeah, good. Very good. Let's let's hope that um, the next. We'll try to pick a fresher specimen for the next visceral dissection you do. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get some, you know, a little better imagery. But there's a nicer view of the stomach there, isn't it? What's in your? Um, mm hmm mm hmm And so you, this is a classic carnivore stomach in that it's large. It's large. It, you know, it, con it can accommodate uh, you know, a single meal consisting of a, of a large prey item. How do we know if it's a male or female? Ah, gonads. Um, gonads are going to be found just beneath the swim bladder. So you got swim bladder beneath that, gonads beneath that, you'll find stomach. That's kind of the layering that you you can expect in fishes, and so this is a gonad right here. That's that organ there is a gonad, and then the it will be paired. There'll be another one. I don't want to flip this over because we're going to get all this intestinal contents in there, and it's going to be it's just all going to look like that. But there'll there'll be a paired organ. On the other side, it looks just like this. Now, to determine the gender, um, if it's a, a reproductively mature and w ripe individual, it will be obvious. But um, this is an individual that is not reproducing at the moment. It's mature, but it's not ripe. And in those cases, what we've got to do is um, Take it out and look for uh, vascularization. If we see a lot of blood vessels in the gonad, even if it's not ripe, it's uh, it's an ovary. It's a female. The ovaries are very well vascularized. The testes are not. And so, what I see here is, yeah, I see a number of small blood vessels. Can you see those? <laughs> So this is a female, and she's she's not not spawning at the moment, which is not surprising. She's in the spent condition because black sea bass actually spawn uh, during the springtime. So she's done what she's going to do for the year, and she's in the resting stage. There's the other gonad there. Getting a good nose full of this one. <laughs> <laughs> it smells a little better now than when it first cut open. Yeah, now, <laughs> the other thing that's making this uh, dissection a little messy is sea bass actually store a lot of fat in their body cavity as visceral fat. And this right here, for example, that's all fat. It's not an organ. <laughs> that's fat. Oh. Um, a lot of this material in here is visceral fat. But frankly, this is not a particularly fresh fish. It's a crab claw. So I think you did well to locate the main structures that you did in this guy. Let's, let's see if we have better luck maybe with um, maybe with that white grunt. That looks pretty fresh.